This video is brought to you by WatchReviewBlog.com and WatchPod, specialty watch accessories for enthusiasts. Please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for video updates. I'm really excited to finally feature Doxa in one of our video reviews. And it's not just any Doxa, it's the Stainless Steel Sub 300T Professional with the orange dial. The one that emits those nostalgic 60s and 70s diving vibes. It's actually a reissue of a watch called the Conquistador that was first released in 1968. This watch is almost identical to the regular Sub 300 except it's been beefed up for extreme diving. Boasting a ridiculous 1200 meters of water resistance with the help of a helium escape valve. This watch was considered the first of its kind way back then. The first accessible dive watch to boast 1200 meters of water resistance as well as a real functional unidirectional dive bezel. And I say functional because when I turn this bezel this thing is solid. More solid feeling than the Rolex Submariner. The clicks are very stiff and reassuring on the Sub 300T whereas the bezel on the Submariner feels more refined but less secure. This is a very recognizable watch with its cushion case, beads of rice bracelet and bright somewhat burnt 1970s orange dial. It makes a unique statement when on wrist. The sizing is quite wearable on my 6.5 inch wrist despite the beefed up design and stated 42.5 millimeter size, probably due to the relatively manageable 45 millimeter lug to lug distance. Again, as comparison, the modern Rolex Submariner has a longer lug to lug distance than this watch. What's also interesting about this watch is the maintained tool watch aesthetic. Doxa has not transitioned to a glorified luxury dive watch style, instead choosing to remain close to their roots. The watch still looks like a tool. The brushed case contrasts against the polished bezel providing great real world legibility, with some of the important bezel markings being filled with orange. The polished beads of rice bracelet just adds to the vintage vibe, although I do wish it tapered at least a little bit towards the clasp for a more tailored fit. What really ties this watch together is the retro dial. Not only is it extremely legible, but the markings are just cool. There's no other way to describe it but the word cool. The hour markings are again following the retro theme, with black outer lines sandwiching the off-white or cream-colored center marker. They are wide and broad, more rectangular in shape, but almost square. The hands are also black following the same theme as the markers, with a cream colored center. As you can see, this watch has a date wheel at 3 o'clock, with a white background. It's the only part of the dial that feels out of place to me. Not only does it not blend into the dial very well, but I also just feel it's not needed on this strictly dive oriented model. Doxa states this watch has a Swiss mechanical automatic movement. Digging a little deeper, you'll come to find this is the ETA 28242 caliber, but this one in the 300T is not COSC certified like the Sub 300. Nothing exotic, but it doesn't need to be, again following the tool-like approach that Doxa brand incorporates. It's considered a very reliable workhorse movement, which at the end of the day is what's needed when diving at extreme depths. To finish off, this is a really special watch. One that has remained true to its roots as a real tool dive watch, but also maintains that awesome retro vibe like a time capsule from the 70s. For more information, please visit our website at watchreviewblog.com and our online store, watchpodcases.com. Cheers!